day, everyone. Welcome to Benita's maternity program antenatal classes. Today, Sister Talia will be speaking to us about fevers. Welcome, Sister Talia. Hi, moms. Yes, today we'll be speaking about fever. I think this is one of the most scary parts. If you're alone in the middle of the night, it normally dry likes to occur that time. And this is just a quick guide to know what to do and when to do what in terms of calling a doctor or getting to a hospital. So fevering babies is one of the most frequent things that new parents or any parent face. And in this article, we'll be seeing how to, to know what is the warning signs and also to know how to manage baby's fever. So fever is defined as a body temperature more than 37.8 degrees Celsius. It is not harmful, however, it should never be left untreated. Understanding why is this happening to my baby? Fever is the normal response of the body. It's how we react to viral or bacterial infections. And it also helps to quicken recovery. So it's our body's natural defense. And it's a reaction to immunizations that's been introduced or that baby may have had. It's also the effect of the environment we're exposed to, such as heat, like an overheated room, or going into a shaded place if you are outside with baby in the sun, or baby could be dressed too warmly, has too many blankets on, or too warmly dressed in wool clothes, for instance. So how do we measure? A thermometer is very important. This I cannot stress enough. Um, it's one of the key things to get, uh, to have on your list as baby supplies if people want to buy you gifts. And it's something that you must always have in the house because it can really help. And each thermometer has a different set of guidelines how to use, but it's usually clean and dry and placed under the arm. So it can be measured various ways. You can measure under the arm. With COVID now, we can see they have this digital thermometers that can be done on the forehead. So each one has, according to a specification or guidelines of the supplier, how to use it, or per year, as they do normally in the hospitals. So how do I treat a fever? Make sure if you're in the sun, as I mentioned earlier, you go indoors, heaters are off, undress baby, so baby should ideally be in a cotton vest. Why? Because cotton regulates heat well, so baby won't be too cold or too hot as well, and a nappy, and a thin blanket if it is winter time, preferably a cotton blanket and not wool, because wool doesn't really regulate temperature very well. I can normally say to moms, in the middle of the night, even close all doors and windows to avoid a draft and give baby a lukewarm bath, not a cold bath if a baby has a fever because the body will react and start shivering and it's, it's not very pleasant and it's unpleasant for the baby. So do try and do a lukewarm bath. It does diminish and, and lowers that body temperature of the fever. So then the next step is medication. Medicines are available to relieve the pain and the fever that and the discomfort baby is having because having fever is a very big discomfort for a baby. It helps them to eat better and to prevent dehydration and it reduces irritability. Medications such as paracetamol, so that would be your Panada, your Calpol and Empopet. And then you get your next group, which is your Ibrufen. So it will be your Nurofen syrup, your Ibomol, etc. So they will be given alternatively. So when a doctor normally writes up, he writes one section of paracetamol-based medication or syrup, and the next one he will give you a Ibrufen-based syrup. Why does he do this? So that you can alternate in the hours of giving it. He will normally notice the paracetamol is every six hours strictly and that's to avoid the temperature from jumping up and baby becoming really overwhelmed um, with this high temperature and we cannot drop it then very easily so both is actually to help each other so one is six hourly which is the paracetamol and then the ibuprofen it's eight hourly so that will just kind of help each other out and just to to facilitate the baby's fever to come down Instructions, how do I use it? As I mentioned earlier, it's normally a six to an eight hourly. And with some things like the Empipet suppository, that's a very good thing to also keep in your fridge as an emergency measure, but that would be sometimes 12 hourly even. It depends how young your baby is. And all these things are measured according to weight, not according to the kilos. 
so um, not according, no, sorry, not the kilos. It's not measured according to the age of baby, only the kilos and the weight of your baby. So one thing that is very important, moms, that I must mention, aspirin should never be given to kids under 12 years old. It increases a rare disease um, called Rice syndrome, and it's a condition that we want to avoid, and how to avoid it is by not giving kids aspirin at all. So disprin and aspirin is completely prohibited with kids under 12. So how and when to see my doctor? So most of the time, um, we have all the measurements we did earlier and the management, and that would be most times efficient, but a lot of times there's an underlying infection where baby does need to see a doctor and be prescribed a bit more intense medication that cannot be gotten over the counter. So if a temperature is over 39.4 degrees of the baby, that is a very dangerous temperature. You should go to an ER or call your GP or pediatrician. Baby has had a fever for more than 48 hours and the condition has not changed. So fever has not gone away, um, baby, because 48 hours is quite a long time for a baby to be this uncomfortable. And if you are concerned about your baby in any way. So we always say if a fever is accompanied by any of these other symptoms, I would say immediately go to your pediatrician, doctor, or your emergency room because it's saying to me there is something underlying that the normal management of fever cannot deal with. So the baby cries inconsolably and cannot be calmed down. Baby is very lethargic, so lethargic is very tired, um, just laying and very weak. Baby seems very sick. And if your child stops eating and drinking, this is very important because your baby will become dehydrated due to the enormous temperature is also running. And if baby shows signs of dehydration, it will be signs um, also of vomiting, rash. They will have a, a lot of times a bright red rash on the body, face, um, or even the tummy area, it's very prevalent. Then you know it could be something like a measles or anything else that could be underlying and difficulty breathing. That's an immediate rush to the emergency room. Um, that is not even just phoning a doctor or pediatrician that's immediately going in with baby. So I hope after today, um, you do know when to see a doctor because I do know this is something that most moms battle. When do I go to a doctor with fever and when do I first treat it at home? First management is yourself, treating baby and after 48 hours, if no improvement or as the warning sign shows is there, you will then go to the hospital, your pediatrician or to your doctor. Moms, I hope all this has helped you a lot with managing fevers. And remember that with fever, lots of cuddles, lots of love, and make sure your baby drinks and gets some fluid in.